Good day, my name is Dr. John Dombrowski. I'm an anesthesiologist and I practice at the Washington Pain Center. I'd like to talk to you today what an epidural steroid injection is. As you are aware, anesthesiologists do epidural injections all day in the OB suite. Here in the pain office, it's a little bit different, but there are some similarities. Let's go to the anatomy. When you go get an epidural steroid injection, what you're going to do is obviously is place the needle in the center of your spine. This is a model of your low back. These are the spinous processes that you feel. Your tummy's up here. This would be the left-hand side, and this is the right-hand side. And epidural are good, and it's been around since the 1950s, for patients with generalized low back pain that goes down both legs, right or left. Again, it was done, used to be done without x-ray guidance, but now it's pretty much standard of care to have x-ray guidance. The procedure's done this. Clean the patient's back off with alcohol or some type of alcoholic prep. Next is a local anesthetic injection with lidocaine normally. After that, a needle is placed straight down the middle of the spine through x-ray guidance through these holes that you see right here between the spine. Then the needle is placed straight down in this fashion. Another x-ray picture is taken to make sure the needle is in correct placement. Once the needle is in correct placement, we then inject through the needle uh, steroids with a small amount of saline or water to disperse it. And then the needle is removed and a band-aid is placed on the puncture site. That is an epidural steroid injection. Thanks for watching.